Yes. Right? Origami. Origami. Yes. And who knew you can make this gorgeous art with origami? Take a look at this first piece. So this, this is, is actually an art piece that I made using basically the same shape. Yeah. And I just used a lot of repetition. So repetition is always easier on the eyes when you're doing artwork. Yes. And I created a chevron pattern with it. And I actually just spaced it out a little bit to give it a bit of visual relief with a little bit of a white band in between each layer. Nice. And this is actually made with paper that I took out from a book. Oh, lovely. So, and the board that I used, I actually picked up a board at a secondhand store okay. and just painted it white. Oh, nice. To start with a clean slate. So Antonio doesn't spend a lot of money on his projects, <laughs> and that's why we really like him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we like it because it's big impact, but you didn't spend a ton, which yes. is great. A couple of other projects. So this is a great piece to hang on your wall. Yes. If you want something a little simpler, maybe for your table, you can make bowls out of paper. That's these right here. Okay. Yeah, very cool. And we're going to show you how to make these. In Definitely. A and you're going to make them as well with oh, me. Oh, okay. I will and, make some too. And then vases. Nice. So these are actually sleeves that go on top of a vase. Love Lovely. With origami. Okay. okay. So let me get you started, and yes. you're going to start. We're going to make these uh, tri these three sided pyramids that we use for the artwork. Now I made them a lot smaller, but I'm going to give you one piece, and okay. you're going to you're going to do yours on that side. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with a square. Yep. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold it down. Okay. Okay. So you're going to match up the corners. Do you care about what paper you're using? Because this is a nice hard card stock. Well, I'm using this for the demo. I actually use like thin paper for this one because okay. I made small ones. But yeah. I think it's, it's handy to do this one for the demo and also a lot, lot bigger. So then again, we're going to fold it the opposite way and we're going to create like a T or a cross. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to have this like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold in each of the points into the center. Yeah. And I think we probably remember doing this I in was going to say, this is feeling like grade three uh -huh. all over again. So you're going to fold it all in. Yeah. And you're going to press down the corners. And then you're going to have it like this. Okay. Okay. Are Perfect. we going to write different things in there? Like, you love art. We can. Okay. We're going to twist it and turn it this way. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take one of those folded pieces and take it out. Okay. And this is sort of going to be like a tail. All right. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take from this point here and this point here, and yeah. you're going to force this to bend up. Oh, this and way. And you're going to bring up, exactly, and you're okay. going to make like a little trough. And what you want to do is just crease the underside, yeah. perfect, only on that one side, right to the tip. Okay. And now what you've done is you've made a trough. Got it. Okay. And you've got to go right to the center where the points meet. Oh, all the way. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then you're going to open it up. Yeah. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your finger underneath in the center and pop it up. And push oh, the tail okay. down. Push the tail down. Like and then that? what you're going to do, yeah. you've got it, you've got sort it, of. you've got it, you've got it, you've got it. I think what happened, there we go. So we're going to push the tail down like so. Oh, okay. You hold it like that. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to have this little tail. This guy. Yes. Okay. And you've actually previously creased it. Right. So now you can tuck that tail inside. Yep. Okay. And you're going to force it inside. I don't remember being the there, start no, you got, you got it, you got it, you got okay, it. Okay, what got do it. I do with this you guy there? You fold it down. You oh, fold like it, there. Yeah, okay. There you go. Look, look at got that. It. Done, done. And then what you do is I like to always pinch, hold, and pinch all the, the all folds the again. Exactly. And then it's going to be nice and sturdy. Okay. There you go. And then you've got your three-sided pyramid. Okay, so just make 100 of these. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, you, and then I just glued them onto the pattern, okay? Okay, okay. very so good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the bowl. So you're going to start with one of these. Yep. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold down. Yeah. Okay. You're going to make a triangle. Yep. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pinch this together. And you're just going to make a pinch point here. All right. And you're going to see this like this. Got okay. It. Now you're going to fold down. This way. And you're going to fold down. You're going to do the other side as well. Okay. There you got it. There you got it. Now you're going to have like this little dog with ears. Yep. Now you're going to bring up the nose. Okay. And fold it forward. Yep. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Now you take two of these and mm -hmm. I'll take two of these. Okay. And you're going to slide them inside. Perfect. Like that. There you go. You're going to do another one. Oh. And you're going to do another one. Smart. Okay. But like here? Am I doing exactly. it here? Exactly. Okay. There you go. Now you got to open it up. And then I you feel gotta... like that was wrong. No, no. You no, got it. No, this is, it should be like that? It should be like this. 
It should be like this. There you Sorry. go. That makes sense. There we go. And okay. now you're going to bring these around. Yeah. And then you're going to tuck the two ends into one another. Oh, like, like. Like so. Like so. Yeah, yeah. And then you're going to have this. Look at Pretend his. This is yours. This okay. is yours. Okay, like yours. so. Okay. <laughs> so there, look at that. Look at that. That's a bowl. You have a bowl. We've got one more. We've got one more. And these are actually made with old shopping bags. Oh, gift that's bags. such a good idea. So you're reusing. You're yes, reusing. So you're not wasting them. So this is the sleeve vase. You're going to start with a rectangle. Yep. And I have instructions for the website. So you're going to mark. We're putting all the instructions. Cityline.tv. Marked, 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 marked. Equal spaces, yep. four sides, and a little bit of extra. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to connect the lines, mm -hmm. and you're going to do crosses. Mm -hmm. Got okay, it. and it's going to make like an argyle sock pattern. Yeah. Okay, and a little bit of extra on the end. I've already pre-creased mine. If you want to hold yours up. Sure. And you're going to fold on all the creases, and what you're going to do is you're going to see this start to take shape because because you folded it right. on all the X's. It, when you flip it out on the outside, you put it together, and you've then you have that. You've got your vase cover. And then you've got your vase, yeah. an old plastic container, and you slide it. Could be an right old water bottle. It could be there anything. It doesn't matter.